Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you here in Toulouse at the High Peak Conference 2023. Since many years, this is the major European networking event in the area of computing technologies. It brings together a large number of key researchers in the domain of computing, cutting across all computing disciplines from embedded computing in smart sensors to edge processing, to cloud processing, to HPC, and most importantly, towards new paradigms like quantum computing. The event does not only build bridges between academia and industry, but also between hardware and software constituencies. Over the years, participation from outside Europe has grown significantly. This just shows the growing worldwide reputation of the event and the high peak vision, which is regularly presented and discussed at the high peak conference. This year, the High Peak Vision 2023 on the evolution of computing technologies is first time publicly presented here in Toulouse. For developing our next generation research and innovation programs, the High Peak Vision has become one of the key strategic documents, which for us provides an excellent complement to the strategic research agendas of European industrial associations. I must regret that I cannot be available physically at the event, but I would like to share with you some reflections on the evolution of computing as a major driver for digital innovation from the European perspective. I would summarize my message in one sentence first. The next generation of computing technologies emerging along a compute continuum will power the next digital revolutions like the metaverse, the vehicle of the future, and the smart energy grid. But how is Europe preparing for it? Let me start by presenting to you very briefly the European strategy to achieve digital sovereignty and competitiveness, which is providing the European framework for digital innovation. The conviction that we are stronger when we join forces at EU level is at the heart of our, Europe, of our vision for Europe's digital transformation by 2030. This is expressed in the Digital Decade, Decade Policy Program. This program was adopted by Council and Parliament in December just last year. It is driving our implementation strategy in digital through its ambitious 2030 targets, which are structured around four key pillars. Investing in digital infrastructures, the digital transformation of business and of the public sector, and of course, digital skills. With the European strategy of data adopted in 2020, we are making Europe a leader in the data economy by creating a genuine single market for data. With computing power moving closer to where the data is, data legislation has strong influence on the rules across the computing continuum. The European Commission is putting forward the legislative framework for a prospering data economy. For example, the Data Act, which was proposed early 2022, will make more data available for use and will set up rules on, how, on, on who can use and access what data for which purpose. With its, clouds, with its cloud strategy, Europe is deploying secure, interoperable, and low carbon cloud and edge services and infrastructures across Europe. With the European Ships Act that we published a year ago, we will reinforce the European semiconductor ecosystem, increase the security and resilience of our supply chains and strengthen our technological sovereignty. It is one of several initiatives announced by the commission over the last three years addressing Europe's technical sovereignty, following the initiative on battery, and being followed this year by the initiative on reducing dependencies on third countries for critical raw materials. In this context of digital autonomy, Europe was able to score a major success last year. With the newest Euro HPC pre-exascale system Leonardo, inaugurated on 24 November, Europe is now having two systems in the top 10 of the top 500 list of supercomputers. The European High Performance Computing Joint Undertaking EuroHPC 
which is a joint initiative between the European Union, European countries and private partners, will continue to work towards the goal of reaching exascale capabilities in Europe as soon as possible. This discussion on Europe's technological sovereignty was triggered by the geopolitical situation of increased competition and tensions. Last year, these were fueled even further by the Ukraine war. This has trickled down into research and innovation as well. We observe technological races, for example, between the United States and China, in which Europe has to find its position. In relation to the evolution to computing, these races and the challenges for Europe have been very well identified in the High Peak Vision 2023, which I would like to quote here briefly. There is the race for the web, for the next web, and the continuum of computing as the foundation for the spatial web and the metaverse. Second, there is the race for artificial intelligence. Third, there is the race for new hardware technologies like quantum computing or new memory and accelerator technologies. There's the race forth for cybersecurity, protecting our digital infrastructure. And there's the race for sovereignty and reduction of critical dependencies. And last not least, there is the race for sustainability. After seven, about seven months ago, at the last High Peak Conference in Dublin, I highlighted a shift from centralized computing facilities to computing at the edge along an emerging compute continuum from device level computing in the IoT to HPC. Edge computing can be seen as the logical evolution of the cloud computing model, avoiding the transfer of mission critical data in the cloud, supporting resilience, real time operations, security and privacy protection, while at the same time reducing energy consumption and carbon footprint. This trend is confirmed and it will lead to strong changes in the computing landscape and innovative use scenarios across our economy. Let me give you examples of visionary applications for which next generation computing is a major game changer. Let me start with a vehicle of the future. The shift to electric, automated, connected and service oriented mobility is increasing the importance of digital hardware and software. The share of electronics in a car's total cost should reach 50% by 2030. Terms like software defined vehicle or smartphone on wheels are emerging to define next generation intelligent vehicles. The automotive industry is a fast growing market for diverse types of semiconductors, sensors, power electronics, microcontrollers, etc. More centralized vehicle electronic architectures as they are emerging and a growing need for computing power for autonomous driving is fueling the demand for higher performance processors or high performance processors for the car. The vehicle of the future will be powered by a compute continuum ranging from devices like smart sensors or cameras, onboard domain or central car processors to support functionality from powertrain to comfort and autonomous driving, to external cloud and HPC infrastructures to support cockpit and entertainment applications. Key challenges that tomorrow's vehicle systems will have to cope with are identified in the high peak vision. Many of them stem from the fact that computing systems were not designed for interacting with the real world. In nearly all hardware and software systems, we observe that first, time is abstracted or is not present at all. And instead of predictable for performance, average performance is the goal. And second, energy, and virtually all other resources are left out of the scope and interactions with the external world are second order priorities. Now these characteristics pose problems, particularly for safety critical functionalities and autonomous driving. For example, to make autonomous driving reality across the full road network, high performance onboard processors optimized for the inference 
phase of AI have to provide predictable real-time decision support. In order not to impact significantly the driving range of electric vehicles, such processors have to be energy efficient. 64-bit floating point arithmetic as available in today's off-the-shelf processors or accelerators just cannot be afforded if 16 or 32-bit is sufficient. For optimizing decisions in autonomous driving, dynamic availability of traffic, infrastructure, and weather data combined with cloud processing capabilities is essential. In the key digital technologies joint undertaking, which is to become the CHIPS joint undertaking in the near future, it is considered to invest along two major lines. A European automotive hardware platform, in particular on open source processors for automotive, which helps reduce dependencies and strengthen the resilience of our industry. And second, an initiative on an open software-defined vehicle platform or car operating system platform, which would help to make automotive software more independent from specific hardware platforms while allowing the integration of emerging processors. Let me give you the example of smart energy grids as well. With the increased decentralization of energy supply in the energy sector, one of the key applications of the future is the local optimization of renewable energy supply versus demand by households, building, buildings, and electric vehicle charging. The goal here is not only to save energy, but to use the best type of energy at the right time. One of the emerging concepts, for example, is bidirectional charging, allowing consumers to use the energy of their car batteries as storage to be used at times of energy demand peaks and high energy prices. Strong computing capacity at device level in the emerging smart IoT will enable here new concepts of decentralized intelligence and swarm computing. Whereas in the past, we programmed each device in the IoT individually, in future, artificial intelligence enabled software engineering tools will support a functional approach or holistic orchestration of swarms of homogeneous or even heterogeneous devices. In its research and innovation initiative on cloud edge IoT for European data under cluster four of Horizon Europe in work program 2023-24, the commission will support large scale piloting of such concepts in vertical domains like energy, which are crucial for Europe's industry and society. And finally, let me pick up the vision of the metaverse. For the emerging visions of the spatial web or the metaverse, the next generation of computing infrastructure along a compute continuum will be the major enabler for this race on the new web. The recent hype around chat GPT bot is currently showing how powerful digital tools can be in all aspects of our work and lives. The Hypic vision is addressing well this next generation of the web. Distributed intelligence will be achieved through sharing and coordinating resources across heterogeneous, connected, locally managed devices. A key role in future will be played by trustable, distributed, smart meta-level orchestration systems like the car operating system that I mentioned already before. In the next work program of Horizon Europe in 2024, 2025 and beyond, I'm sure that these emerging visions of the new web will have a major impact. With this setting the scene, I would like to close and wish you all a successful conference and networking event. Thank you very much.